I didn't think about that beforehand. <laughs> nice black screen, looking good. I'll find something here. Um, <laughs> all right, this is fitting. It's not. It's not a good song to play in the background, but it's fitting. There you go. Hope we sound okay. I'm sure we do, but. Alright, um, I'll go ahead and share that. Right, so we actually were, like, in the hurricane's, uh, like, trajectory. We were. But then, yesterday morning, it changed such that, like, it's gonna go south as soon as it hits the coast. And then it's just gonna go around us, so... <laughs> we kinda looked out on that one. My CPU usage... Yeah, so, one problem I need to fix with the stream is that our CPU usage is so high for some reason. And I don't know why. So I'll set it, I'll set my bit right down for the stream. Though it pains me. It's still very high though, that's very concerning. Uh, so one exercise that I thought we could do... Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot to link the stream in the Discord. Here we go. I need, I need to get some unified branding. I have, like, different icons everywhere now. Oh, it's not too loud. This song was on my head because I just got done playing DK64 off stream. I'm glad I didn't play that on stream. I think that's like a fun game to just kind of chill and play while you're listening to stuff. So I guess in the meantime, I'll just kind of chill and see if I can get my CPU usage to go down. That is really peculiar. I don't know why it's so high. I'm actually not recording right now. I'm just streaming. I know you can set it so that um, your... what do you call it? <clears throat> you can set it so that your graphics card is your stream uh, encoder, but... It doesn't work well with OBS. I don't know if it's just OBS or what. But yeah, that's what I found. Also, I found that when I replaced my motherboard, my CPU usage went up. I don't know how that works. I don't know if your CPU usage is supposed to go up when you replace your motherboard. I've actually been tempted to just put the old motherboard back in, but I know that has, like, other problems, so I don't want to risk it. Also, there's just, you know, how, uh, how cumbersome it is to do that. So yeah, I was saying earlier, one little exercise we can do is uh, 
I think I bring up the BRB sign. I'm not, I'm not actually going to BRB, I'm going to erase that, hold on. <laughs> Can I just say, OBS has actually been, like, on my shit list recently. I want to use, I want to try something else now. But I feel like everything else is probably worse. Here we go. Likely... Newcomers, I'll have to make that window bigger. Here, I'll make it very likely. I wonder if I can make the actual text box bigger. Weird. So yeah, pretty much all the ones that are like requested, so like Isaac, Shantae, Gino, Waddle D. I don't get Waddle D, but I think he's probably in. Those four plus Skull Kid. It was like the main five, I would say. That I think are Almost uh, confirmed. I'll switch the song now. I actually, I actually don't know if we're going to get a new Pokemon newcomer. I could actually see us not getting one. At least not until like DLC. Why is my CPU usage so fucking high? It's at a hundred percent, literally. What the hell? Let me check something real quick. That is infuriating. I almost want to, like, I don't even know. Having OBS browser sources does increase CPU usage, but it's marginal compared to, like, everything else in here, so. That's so weird. Hey Pip, you think we'll get any Bayo 3 info? I could definitely see that. It's been a while since they first showed it, right? It's been like... It feels like it's been a year. And optional system components. been eight months and also hi hello I was looking through my friend list in final heroes and I saw you your name is pip and you have the the bowlin as your lead windows trusted and slide but I do remember you saying that you stopped playing once you lost your your original account So right now I have something called Windows Trusted Installer taking up a lot of CPU usage. That's what I'm looking up right now, and I'm I'm seeing if I can end that process to save CPU usage, but it's looking like I shouldn't do that. You 
Yeah, Bane out of three. I don't know what they're going to show today. It's 35 minutes long. And, like, the Smash portion is probably going to be pretty short, because I get the impression they're just going to show, like, one character and maybe an Echo. I don't think they're going to dwell on Smash this time around. Okay, well in the future I can stop this from happening by turning off automatic updates, but like I want to stop it now. <laughs> I'm surprised some remember me? Yeah, dude. I thought your account got wiped. No, that happened to me. I remember when we did like the big the big Makaya summoning stream, you were there. And I remember you saying that your account got wiped, which is just awful. Sometimes I wonder what life would be like if I didn't invest so much time into heroes and like... Honestly, what I figure is that I'll probably just find something else to invest all my time into. Because like, before heroes, like for me it was like, idle games. Like those would be the games I'd play like, in between such, like in between st uh, studying sessions and stuff. Like in college I've had a need for games that I can just turn off and on really quickly and just screw around for a couple minutes. That Zane wasn't here- yep, that also sounds familiar. <laughs> I think it's cool that Genealogy is getting so many units in the game now. They've gotten two banners this year. I wish we'd get more Tellius banners, but the longer they wait to add them, like 200 hours before Heroes, and then Breath of the Wild, okay. Yeah. Breath of the Wild is, is a big time sink. I haven't played it personally. Okay, so I'm going to try this. Control panel... Because, like, what happened last time was, like, my CPU switch got so high during the stream that we actually, like, blue screened. It was very irritating. System and maintenance. Oh, I went to the, to the next song, I guess. Okay. <laughs> this is Echoes. Oh, how do I do this? Device manager? No. Oh, here we go. Alright. Six minutes to go here. I have six minutes to figure out why this is happening. Are your computer status. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking at chat right this second. So that's why I'm not responding. If anybody's saying anything. Ch 
change user account control. Man. Here we go. Okay, try that. Well, my CPU usage is down, but I suspect it'll just go back up once the direct starts, because I have to stream that. It did a genealogy banner, I kept up with the subreddit, yeah. I would definitely summon with low one if I still played. Yeah, low one is ridiculous. He has like three like premier skills. And uh, what else? Also, his tome is ridiculous too. He gets like constant des uh, desperation. It's honestly like a pleasant surprise that there's like a male unit that's so busted because usually they're girls. Give me one more second here, and I'm going to check and see if I can just end this. Hi, Numberette. I'm glad you could make it. Sorry, the screen's black right now. I'm trying to look up solutions to this thing that's causing my computer to have very high CPU usage. Looks like I can just end it if I want to. Hmm. All right. Well, if this if the stream uh if if we if we get a blue screen right now, then then you'll know what happened. Okay. Looks like we're okay. Whenever I try to link my Nintendo account to here, I get the message, continue playing on your other device, so that's what blocked me out, even though he's on a phone. What? That's weird. Hmm. Are you sure you don't have, like, another phone linked to your account? Because that would... I mean, that could be a way to potentially get your, your data back. I guess I should put my... My encoding even further down just to be safe, which sucks. My CPU is so fragile these days, that's what it feels like. Less than a minute to go. I'm going to refresh to make sure that I, um, okay, good. Also, you don't have to, like, actually watch the, uh, my reaction, unless you just really want to. Um, I usually stream these just so that I have the recording for later. 
and so that I'm already streaming when people like finish watching the direct and they want to like talk to people about it. Yeah, it's 35 minutes long. I I can't get over how long it is. I would be surprised if we didn't see Fire Emblem Three Houses. That's loud. Sorry, friends. All right. I see green. Oh, it's the 3DS port for Luigi's Mansion. So it's like a remake of... Oh, you know, this looks new. Is it a port of the second game? Oh, fuck. What? <laughs> okay, cool. I'll take it. <laughs> Nobody expected that. Is it for 3DS or Switch? I think. I th I th I th I th excuse me. I think it's 3DS. Hi, Solid Squall. That was crazy. Let me know if you want me to turn the uh, the volume up or down. Please take a look. I didn't expect that at all. Epic Yarn 2? Extra Epic Yarn. I was watching a discussion where, uh... Wow. I'm not buying this, because I already have it on a Wii, but hey. <laughs> I was watching a Game Explain discussion where somebody predicted this and they laughed at him. I feel like people completely forgot that this, that, that this game existed. I actually did um, a Let's Play of this game in like 2011. Ooh. That looks fun. That actually looks really cool. I'm still not buying it though. <laughs> I already have it on Wii. Bowser Jr. Destined for greatness? Is he getting his own game? What? Oh. Has a bad case of the Blorbs, and the only ones who can save it are Mario, Luigi, and Bowser? It can only be Mario I like how Bowser looked in the original game better. I think he looks too threatening in this one. There's another side to every story, even this one. Now you can go on Bowser Jr.'s journey as well. In his new adventure, Bowser Jr. sets off to find his own remedy for the Blorbs. But thanks to his signature selfishness, he ends up causing more problems than he cures. Well, this looks a lot better than the, uh, the Minions mode in Superstar Saga. Although it looks like they reused a bunch of assets from uh, the other games. That's fine, though. They're getting a lot of mileage out of this, uh, this engine. The Luigi's Mansion game had a Switch logo on it? Oh, cool. I didn't notice that. With Luigi and a second player? While you're waiting for the new game on Nintendo Switch, don't forget that the original Luigi's Mansion is coming to Nintendo 3DS. That comedically spooky vibe that fans remember is intact, even when you're playing the new two-player mode making its debut in the Nintendo 3DS version. If you and another player each own the game, one of you can play as this even greener guy as also you owns the game. Together. I feel like the game is too cramped for two players. That's cool. Download play is like an underrated feature, I feel like. You can tap select amiibo figures to surprising results, like revealing hidden booze, or healing Luigi when he talks to Toad. Each of the four compatible amiibo has a different effect. I might actually get this just because Luigi's Mansion is so old. It's not like Kirby's Epic Yarn, where, like, it's just a port, you know? Yeah, I don't care about Yo-Kai Watch. Okay. 
white dog squad. Yokai Watch Blasters will let you team up with friends to tackle the most action-packed battles in the series yet. Soon after launch, you'll have another way to squad up. You won't want to miss the free software. It's only been five minutes, and they've already done like a couple biggish announcements. Maybe they will do like a prolonged Smash section after all. I have no interest in Yokai Watch. Why you ask? You know why. The art style isn't really my thing. Now is the perfect time to become a fan. Yokai Watch Blasters is out now. And don't forget about the Moon Rabbit Crew update. That's all the headlines for Nintendo 3DS. Oh, that was all. Wait, what? Then what about the Luigi's Mansion one? Well, from here, let's focus on Nintendo Switch titles. Please take a look. The three discs will never die. It's Inkopolis news time. I still haven't bought Splatoon 2. <laughs> I should have bought this instead of uh, Mario Tennis, for sure. Sorry the bit around the stream went down, I don't know why that is. Did they put an anime op into the game now? That's pretty cool. I'm gonna try putting on 40p. So it'll at least be consistent. Is it a movie? <laughs> that would be interesting. I don't know what it is. Oh. New maps? I agree, this music is good. It's, uh... Splatoon definitely has, like, its own music style. Yeah, see, I'm not familiar with, I'm not familiar with Splatoon 2, so... Numbera shouting out all the new things that are happening right now that I'm not appreciating. I played a ton of Splatoon 1 though. It's a meta revamp? Isn't Splatoon actually pretty good about releasing uh, patch notes? favorite blue robot makes his triumphant return in Mega Man 11. Marking the 30th anniversary of the iconic series, this brand new game is gunning for greatness on Nintendo Switch. Jump, slide, and shoot through each of the colorful, challenging stages and try to take down a gallery of bounce man. bosses like the formidable Bounce Man. The formidable fact, Bounce Man. You must defeat the eight <laughs> robot masters and get each of their special weapons. The technological miracle of the new double gear system makes for a fresh take on the series' satisfying platforming action. Move so fast that time slows down around you. Temporarily enhance your weapons and show them who the real boss is when you need to most. Mega Man 11 also supports the Mega Man amiibo figures. You can tap one each day to receive. That's a new amiibo on the left, right? In-game items. Mega Man 11 will be ready to rock October 2nd. It's pretty cool. Looks good. Mario Tennis Aces, further refined in new update. Some popular characters are joining the roster. The adorable all-around ace. <laughs> Finally, Birdo. It's about time. The proud high flyer. <laughs> Get hype, it's Paratroopa. And the big boss with no racket, PD Piranha. <laughs> I'm glad they're putting in PD Piranha. No racket, PD Piranha. These Mushroom Kingdom greats can be acquired by playing online. And we'll keep adding more until next June. There will even be a new mode called Co-op Challenge. It'll let you participate in online co-op missions that are only available for a limited time. That's neat. 
complete the objectives while these missions are active. <laughs> Fucking change up. Receive special outfits, characters with alternate color schemes, and more. So do people care enough about Mario Tennis to do that though? <laughs> I don't know. My, my perception is that people just don't care enough about it. The version 2 update for Mario Tennis Aces will be available September 19th. These arcade classics I kind of wish it just had all, all that content like off the bat, you know? Back in the day, Whatever. Capcom lit up the arcades with some classic beat em up action games. And guess what? The good old days are back. Final fight. The King of Dragons. Captain Commando. Knights of the Round and Warriors of Fate are making a comeback. And so are these first time home console releases. Armored Warriors and Battle Circuit are joining the fight for a total of seven games. Wonderful see Pikmin 4 today. Up to four players can beat them up together. That'd be pretty big. Aspiring Bash Buddies can even take the fight online this time. Pretty soon. You'll be able to play with other Capcom fans from around the world. I also feel like it's time for, um, what do you call it? Animal Crossing. For Switch. New Super Mario Brothers U is getting the deluxe treatment. Nobody saw this coming. Time to take down Bowser and his Koopaling invasion in the Trident... Another one of the worst kept secrets ever. Mario, Luigi, and Toad are all here. And if that's not enough... Nabbit and Toadette are joining in the fun as well. Where'd Blue Toad go? Hello? Nabbit doesn't take damage from enemies, which can really come in handy. And if Toadette powers up with a super... Where did Blue Toad go? She transforms into Peachette. Peachette can double jump. What? Float slowly during free fall and get a boost back up... I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, whatever. ...starring role in a platforming adventure, new Super Luigi U... I've been both these games. Mario U and Luigi U. They're good games, but I'm not gonna buy them again. It's a cool looking mode. New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe comes down the pipe January 11th. I mean, it's great for people that didn't own a, a Wii U, but. Oh shit. Katamari. I've never played a Katamari game. Is it a new one or is it just a port? I think it's probably a port. Can only be Katamari Damacy, remastered in HD. That naughty king of all cosmos has made a mess. So many games are being ported to Switch, it's crazy. Control of the prince here, and roll, just roll and roll, all over the place, and all over stuff, until the gradually growing mass towers over buildings. The clump, or Katamari you roll, will shine on as a beautiful star in the sky. I've seen a bunch of LPs of, of these games, but I've never played them. You can enjoy the game's new gyro controls. HD Rumble. They look fun. Even multiplayer battles by each using a Joy-Con controller. Roll it till you reach the stars anytime, anywhere. Katamari Damacy Reroll will launch Winter 2018. Next, we have some more news for you. We've announced some details about Nintendo's new service called Nintendo Switch Online. Here we go. Including the launch date. You won't have to wait long. The service will begin September 18th. We prepared a video to show you what's offered with your Nintendo Switch Online membership. So please take a look. This will be interesting. More games, more features, more fun. Nintendo Switch Online. Allow us to introduce five features included with your membership. You can use our voice chat phone app. Of course, you can play compatible games together online, even when you're far apart. Incredible. Compete against players the world over. Or team up for some great co-op action. There are so many ways to have fun. A variety of games are supported. What if they just snuck in Gino there? Could you imagine? <laughs> and take them online. I mean, it t technically, it's had online play. Like, it's had, like, an extended free trial. Games, each player can grab a Joy-Con controller. 
so both of you can share in the fun. NES games can also be played online. As they say, playing together long distance makes the heart grow fonder. Look Bowser. to a growing library of NES games. Luigi knows that no matter how careful you try to be, something unexpected can happen. Oh. Accidents can cause your precious save data to disappear. But help is on the way. Maybe you should have just bought cartridges. Maybe that would have helped. Save data is automatically backed up in the cloud. Even if your console breaks, your save data... Maybe losing save data is just an inherent risk in not buying physical copies of your games. Nintendo Switch Online also connects with a smartphone. Whatever. <laughs> with this app, you can voice chat with friends while playing certain games. Backseat players can also join in the conversation. That way, everyone's having fun. The smartphone app. The best part. The service even has the ability to enhance certain games by connecting with them, like Splatnet 2. Members will also receive special offers. What are they? We'll have more to announce in the future. More games, more features, more fun. So it's like the same as we have now, except now we have cloud saves. The service begins September 18th. Think about which plan is right for you. 20 bucks a year, ugh. You can save some money with the family membership. Oh boy, you can save five dollars. How's it look? Well, we have one more thing we'd like to introduce. This Nintendo Entertainment System style controller works with NES games on Nintendo Switch. This one here is the left NES controller. They're Joy-Cons? We created them so you can play NES games like the ones you saw in the video, just like old school gamers did back in the day. Please enjoy them with Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo Switch Online. These controllers wirelessly connect with Nintendo Switch. And you can charge them yeah, the Joy-Cons. The Weird. We hope you'll enjoy using these controllers. 60 bucks, no fucking way. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> it's a cool idea, but no one's gonna pay 60 bucks for that. Come on. Nintendo Switch Online. Please check the official Nintendo website. Now, let's get back to some more Nintendo Switch games. Your partner Pokemon is amazing! Get ready to set off on a Kanto region adventure with your very own partner Pokemon in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Today, we want to share a couple things that you and your partner can enjoy in the upcoming game. During your adventure, you'll occasionally come across obstacles blocking your path. When you do, you can rely on a secret technique to get past them. Secret techniques are special skills that only your partner Pikachu or Eevee can use in the wild. Use them to chop down trees that stand in your way, travel across water, or soar into the sky. Furthermore, they took out HMs essentially. Can learn certain powerful moves for use in battle. Which is neat. If you pet your partner while your Nintendo Did Eevee just do an attack that burned a Zubat? Change your partner's hairstyle. Depending on how you use the touch screen to pet it. The Gen 4 remake is coming out? Yeah, I'm, I'm curious about that too, if it'll ever happen. The they might wait until after the, uh, the 2019 games. Look for two new bundles that will include a Nintendo Switch system with Pikachu and Eevee style Joy-Con controllers. I have no hype for this game whatsoever. <laughs> this is probably like, probably like the least hyped I've ever been for a Pokemon game. The gates to the burning hells will open on Nintendo Switch. It just looks so dumbed down compared to the other Pokemon games. It'll be fun for like one playthrough and then I'll never feel like playing it again. Plus it's 60 bucks. Like every game is. Necromancer, Witch Doctor, 
I'm not checking my phone, you're checking your phone. Three friends online, offline via local co -op, I was supposed to re I was supposed to do research today, but I slept in for like eleven hours. Transmog armor fit for the king of evil, Ganondorf. Have to do it after this. All amiibo figures are compatible, allowing you to summon a group of challenging enemies, overflowing with sparkling. Honestly, I really should just do the Phylum Six stream today, but I should probably do research stuff first. We're making this party super. Souped up the Mario Party series with new types of gameplay on Nintendo Switch. This looks amazing, TBH. Oh, Mario Party, yeah, I agree. It looks like a huge improvement, at the very least. But, like, did it really... Why wow, was it so hard to get back to this point, you know what I mean? Like, did the GameCube Mario Parties just sell awfully? I feel like, even if they did, like, they all used the same engine. Whatever. Of course, the four-player board game mode that fans love is... That's good. By rolling character specific dice blocks with alternate numbering, you can make a game changing comeback. You got stuck. Every last mini game is brand new, all 80 of them. For a party of one, check out the new single player modes. You can play through a series of mini games to complete specific tasks on Challenge Road. Compete against players around the world in the online Mario Thon mini game mode and more. So. Can you play the board games online? Or is it just the minigame mode? You have to be- I mean, you have to be able to play the- the board game mode online. Game Freak? Game Freak? What? The story is set in a small village. Under the protection of a great castle, the settlement enjoyed lasting peace. Looks neat. That is, until the sudden appearance of monsters. Indeed. The entire story takes place in this one single village. Take up arms against invading monsters, and strategically select from a variety of battle commands. When the situation calls for it, enlist the aid of fellow villagers to surmount powerful threats. What secret does the village harbor? Yeah, those look nice. Find out when town releases town. <laughs> in 2019. Cool. I like, I like that Game Freak is trying to make new games. Develop a city anytime, anywhere. Is it SimCity? City building game City Skylines is coming to Nintendo Switch. Which means there's a city in need of a new mayor. You! <laughs> now I can drop meteors on my Switch. ...and shaking to do if you want to improve quality of life, energize businesses, and stimulate growth. Whether you're investing in roads and power lines, public facilities, or transportation services. How the city develops Looks cool. is totally up to you. You're kind of a big deal. But in this game, sometimes it's the small fucking player worship in my simulator game, SMH. Over every single citizen's movements. What's more, both previously released downloadable content packs after dark and snow. Oh, so this game already exists. Flex your mayoral might at home or on the go. I guess that's why it's the Switch edition. All right, fair enough. I guess it was on Steam before or something. A tale of belief, blood and steel. The moon has fallen. Yeah, I'm just saying, we only got 12 minutes left. Inhabitants are on the brink of extinction in Damon X Machina. As a mercenary, you'll pilot a powered suit. That HUD looks crazy, by the way. Runaway AI. As you defeat enemies during combat, you'll acquire their weapons and parts, which you can equip on the fly. If you haul acquired weapons back to the base, they're added to your personal armory for use in future missions. Each arsenal can be equipped with multiple weapons. By changing between projectile and melee attacks, you can adapt your weaponry to the situation at hand and gain the advantage. Three houses, yeah. At any time during battle, you can exit your arsenal. Like there's been some cool stuff here, but like nothing that is gonna get me to turn on caps lock when I go tweet about it. You know what I mean? Be augmented as well. Up to four players can join forces in online co-op to take down massive bosses. Damon X Machina launches in 2019. At least it's, at least it's been really fast-paced, like... A big adventure in a miniature world of crap. Oh, this is the Yoshi game. In a world made of stuff like boxes and paper cups, Yoshi will leap up high, gobble enemies, and hustle on by. Is he still made of yarn? Many unusual obstacles litter the landscape. 
A well -placed egg could open a Yoshi's flipping world. You could turn the stage on its yeah, Bayo 3 would be cool too. I think now that we're getting towards the end, they're gonna start showing like the bigger titles. At least I hope so. And of course, we'll see the Smash trailer. That's kind of cool. <laughs> you can see like the tape holding up the clouds. That's cool. Okay, this looks better than Woolly World, for sure. The reason I didn't like Woolly World as much, partially was because the backgrounds looked so boring compared to, like, the original SNES game. I like how Nobu is seeing everything, like, a second before I do. So I have to be careful when I look at chat, <laughs> just in case. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm behind. Alright, let me refresh real quick. I don't know what this is, so... It kind of kinda looks like Hearthstone. Is that what it is? Okay, it's not Hearthstone, clearly. Story -driven I don't care about this, I want three houses. So I haven't mentioned it yet, but um... As far as I can tell, the Smash character already leaked. And it's a pretty convincing one, so... I'll be really pleasantly surprised if it isn't that character, but I'm pretty sure it is. Pandemic? Isn't Pandemic like the browser game where you where you restart until you start in uh, Madagascar? Siv. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it, it is Civ, okay. Is it like a new game? I was gonna say the art style doesn't seem like Civ, but I wouldn't know, I guess, so. I think Civ 6 is new. Sid Meier's Civ 6. We're nearing the end. So, like, is Starlink not about Star Fox? Because I can't tell. So it's not about Star Fox. Because... <laughs> The marketing kind of makes it sound like it is. Alright. They're laying it on a, a little thick. Wolf is known for... <laughs> doing that. Everyone knows that. On your own R -wing. When Starlink battle I wonder if that's what they based uh, his Smash Render on. Wolf sounds like a Pixar villain. RPGs are coming to Nintendo Switch this fall. The World Ends With You final remix features an all-new story segment called A New Day, which contains a remixed map of Shibuya. And yeah, they'll show as well. To scramble to escape the area or face erasure. New monsters will appear as well, and so will the Reaper, Coco. The world ends with you. Final remix launches. Not gonna lie, feeling a little uh. Before then, I don't know. Guide a group of legendary warriors on a journey through the tragic history that doomed a kingdom and drove a hero down a dark path 500 years before the events of the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 game. Defend yourself from Malos and his forces using all the fury of this refined battle system, allowing you to fight as both the artificial life forms known as blades 
and their masters, the drivers. Newcomers will have the perfect place to start when Xenoblade Chronicles 2... <laughs> Mithra sticks out like a sore thumb in that image. Because <laughs> she's the only one you really recognize. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 expansion pass can download oh, well. this new content tomorrow. That's a week early. There's tons in store on Nintendo Switch. Tomorrow, that's a week early. Wait a minute, that's not. <laughs> Join more than 38 million players for free-to-play co-op space ninja action when Warframe launches November 20th. Get down to Camila Cabello, Bruno Mars, Cardi B. Obligatory and Just Dance. Anywhere in Just Dance 2019 and but everyone else is anime? FIFA 19 is fast approaching. Yeah, Malos kind of has like the Xenoblade X vibe, you know what I mean? He looks like a Xenoblade X character, and then everyone else looks like anime characters. Race as a team and win as a team in Team Sonic Racing, launching this winter. The highest rated basketball simulation franchise is back. NBA 2K19 is available now on Nintendo Switch. And get ready to jam in the sequel to the smash hit NBA arcade game, NBA 2K Playgrounds 2, coming this fall. Play as the Joker. Harley, Lex Luthor, and the rest of the best of the worst in the all-new LEGO DC Super Villains. I don't care about any of these. Uh, I kind of agree. Final Fantasy comes to Nintendo Switch. Koopo! Nine? Oh. Fifteen years after its debut, the co-op action RPG Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles is being remastered on Nintendo Switch. With the new online multiplayer mode, you and your I think Crystal Chronicles used to be like together. Nintendo's no deal, right? On top of that, like they used to be like the Final Fantasy spin-off that was on Nintendo consoles. Returning fans can explore the unknown. I could be wrong though. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition will launch in 2019 was kind of dumb for GBA, GC. So apparently this game has like the entire FF15 story in it, which is really weird, I didn't know that. It's literally like 15, except it's like a miniature version of it. That's super weird. A leveled up version of World of Final Fantasy is also on the way. What's wrong with their heads? This title includes a new feature called Avatar Change allows you to transform into legendary characters from across the series storied history. <laughs> and chat, I don't care about FF more FF please. Final Fantasy Maxima when it releases on November 6th. Final Fantasy Maxima. I have zero interest in these like spin-off games. Oh, what? Dungeon is on the way. What? 2007's Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo's Dungeon for we in superior fashion. Now, you can befriend all the monsters. I used to watch uh, Calvin play this game. By sharing Joy-Con controllers, you can play I think Calvin like rented this game from Hollywood Video, <laughs> and then I, I then I watched him play it on Wii. That's crazy. Final Fantasy XII is coming to a Nintendo system for the first time. Well, shit. Its real-time battle system is a standout in the series, offering the ultimate in both freedom and strategy. This remaster comes loaded with a host of extra features. Carlo did like a hundred streams on FF12. There's much to discover in the Roughly a hundred. We only have two minutes left, so... That's roughly how much time it takes to reveal a Smash character. So I think we're basically there. Which reminds me... Later on, you'll also be able to enjoy these other classics. Seven, nine... Iconic scenes, anytime. Not eight. <laughs> so seven, nine, and ten. Final Fantasy seven. Nine and ten, ten two HD remaster. Oh, cool. Are coming to Nintendo okay, we'll stream. We'll stream ten on Switch. Not immediately, but. Here's a bundle for the ultimate fan. What wasn't this leaked? If you love the Super Smash Brothers series. Check this thing out. Maybe it was still a fake leak, but. Oh, that looks cool. A hardware bundle for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is on the way. Much better than the Pokemon one. This specially designed dock features spiders from the original Super Smash Brothers game. And of course, the set also includes a download code for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. There's no better way to show your love for the game. And the set also packs in something you'll want to get your hands on. These Joy-Con controllers sport a new design as well. 
this Super Smash Brothers Ultimate bundle for Nintendo Wasn't Switch that leaked? I could be wrong. This looks really familiar. It doesn't really matter though. Whether or not whether or not it was leaked. Controller adapter and GameCube controller Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Edition while supplies last. That's all the headlines for Nintendo Switch. Still going well? What if they just end it? We have a bit more to show you. So, please stick around until the very end. What what if it's Pikmin 4 and not Smash? Shink. Oh. Oh fuck, it's Isabel. <laughs> or no, is, is is it the new Animal Crossing or is it Isabel and Smash? Which one is it? It could be either. I think it's new. I think it's the new Animal Crossing. Keep going! <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. I'm starting to get Smash vibes from this. Maybe it's not a new Animal Crossing. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Isabel comes into Smash because she's fucking pissed at the mayor. <laughs> And then she gets the invitation like the mayor did. So will she be an Echo Fighter or, or will she be unique? That's kind of the big question. Almost certainly an Echo, but... Animal Crossing kill me? What? Salt Squawk it out. Look at how cute. <laughs> Turns over a new leaf. Maybe she is a unique character. No. Okay, she's a uh, clone. Well, hold on. She's looking pretty unique, actually. I think she's a unique fighter. Straight up. I don't know. I think she's more unique than she is Echo. This is cool. Is that it? <laughs> That's really cool. She's cute. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh. <laughs> Maybe Isabel's unique and then Tom Nook is the an echo of one of them? Maybe this is just a meme. Is this DLC for for New Leaf? Could you imagine? Is it Switch Animal Crossing? Oh, he has a Switch on his desk. Okay. Okay, cool. They teased it, at least. I need a confirmation right this second on whether or not Isabelle is an Echo or a Unique. She she looks unique to me, but... Is that it? Wow. I'm really surprised, that's it. So I guess the character wasn't leaked. So the leak said that the character was um, a rhythm heaven, um, excuse me, a rhythm heaven fighter, and I guess it was wrong, even though it was pretty convincing. So, might be. I'm kind of shocked. I'm kind of shocked Isabel didn't leak at all. No Bayo 3 or 3 houses, you're right.
I'm going to peruse Twitter and see if we can figure out if Isabella is a... Let's see. There are some really bad takes in my timeline, first of all. Here's one. Who wanted Isabel and Smash? A lot of people wanted Isabel and Smash. So Final Fantasy 12, 15 Pocket Edition, 9, Maxima, 7, Crystal Chronicles, 10 1, 10 2, and Chocobo Mystery Dungeon. All Final Fantasy games on Switch now. Needs more TBH? More Final Fantasy? <laughs> Where's 8? I guess that's some really bad takes on my timeline. No, fuck this, I don't care about Smash. Why'd I follow these people? I'm still looking for a confirmation on Isabel. The two minutes between Isabel getting announced for Smash and Animal Crossing Switch being announced when people thought they just got trolled is the most emotional I've ever seen Twitter. <laughs> Only Link says Isabel is the is the best Smash waifu now. <laughs> kind of sucks because I think people are going to be, like, the Smash crowd is going to be disappointed now. <laughs> okay, here's, I found the reveal trailer for Isabelle. Let's put it on screen real quick. Let's see, what's Pip saying? You could hear my heart in half. You could hear my heart tear in half when I saw Animal Crossing. <laughs> So let's watch this really carefully. Doe. So like some of these moves do look similar to, but you know what? I, you know, excuse me. You know what? You know what I think it is. I think it's um. She's like Falco and Wolf, where like, she's reminiscent of the villager, but she's not an Echo Fighter. I think that's almost certainly the case. See, like, that move is similar to Villager. But then that's pretty new, as far as I can tell. Like, like that could be her down smash. Which looks like Villager's, but then that's different enough to where... Yeah. <laughs> Look at how cute. Well, that's cool. I don't think anybody expected Isabel to be a, a new fighter and not an Echo. I certainly, I certainly didn't expect that. So she holds her skirt when she falls. Let's see if we can find that. Oh, she has different costumes. I just noticed. Now I feel dumb. Also, this this splash screen is really funny. <laughs> Isabel turns over a new leaf. Let's see if that's where she does it. I 
at the balloons. Oh, you're right. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Nobody expected Isabel. That's kind of crazy. So, I guess, like, the big stuff that came out of that, out of that direct was Isabel and Smash, the new Animal Crossing teaser, and all the Final Fantasies, and I guess we just mentioned three. I guess they're saving, like, I guess they want to save, what do you call it, like Pikmin 4 and Metroid and all that. Like, they want to save that for E3 directs, I guess. That's the vibe I get. People on Twitter seem to be really happy with the Direct, which is weird. Usually I'm really excited about the Direct and Twitter is like really lukewarm about it. Now it's the opposite. Oh, here we go. This looks, uh... Yeah, she's a new fighter. Confirmed. Alright, cool. I mean, we figured, but... So here, look at this. Number 68. She gets a new number. It's nice to get that confirmation, at least. This direct wasn't worth 32 minutes. Eh. It was pretty fast-paced. It wasn't, like... Several years ago, they would have directs where, like, they'd spend over 10 minutes on one game. And it'd be, like, a game that already came out. Like, the Nintendo Directs have gotten a lot better. They used to be bad. Well, not not as good, anyway. <laughs> the camera. Oh, she, oh, she can pocket, too. That's kind of a big deal. Pocket is a pretty good uh, neutral special. It does make sense. I think Isabel was popular enough to justify uh, having a unique moveset, so that's cool. Well, there you go. <laughs> I like how Final Fantasy VIII is just conspicuously absent. A new Nintendo of America tweets, a new mainline game in the Animal Crossing series is slated for a 2019 release. Well, there you go. You'll see why it's absent, Sean. I don't know, should we, should we play 8 or 10 first? I kind of want to play 8. Maybe we'll try 8, but just to get a vibe for what it's all about, and then we'll switch to 10. <laughs> Finish 8 while 10 is being released? Interesting. Are they all being released at the same time? All the Final Fantasy games? Oh, I suppose if I play 8, I'll have to play on my PC again. That's fine. I can do that. I guess. <laughs> I mean, that's what I did for 7 and 9, so whatever. So now the next big, well, hold on. So what's, what's kind of interesting about this is that um, Isabel wasn't teased at all, as far as I can tell. Like in the last direct, Isabel wasn't leaked, or leaked, teased in any way. 
like Isaac ended up being leaked or teased. Sorry, I keep getting mixed up. Isaac was teased. People said like maybe Shantae or Skull Kid was teased with like the the background. There was a yellow chair, so maybe that was teasing Is Isabel. <laughs> Was there anything else in the direct worth <laughs> worth looking at? Oh no, the video's unavailable. Let's have a look here. I like how it says they're playing City Skyline on the, the stream. Here we go. So we can skim through it again for anything that we thought was worthwhile. Splatoon 2, the anime op. That, that they made. That's here. Actually, what was that update all about? Like, what is it actually for? <laughs> is it like a new game mode? Okay, whatever. Version 4, okay, that's what it's for. Smartphone app, Diablo. Skylines. No Fire Emblem. No Metroid. We got Yoshi, though. All right then. Um, we've been going for over an hour actually, so I can probably end it pretty soon here. Unless anybody has anything urgent they want to throw out there. Oh wait, hold on. Let me just uh, real quick here. I called it. It says it right there on the list. I can't believe I was the only person who called it. <laughs> but no FV or Bayo 3. Do you think they'll wait until like next E3 to show that shit? <laughs> It'll be a while. <laughs> I guess Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem uh, has done like its own direct before, so maybe, so maybe they'll, they'll do that again. With all the characters from Torna? Okay. I was actually thinking of doing that so we could play like spot the one you recognize. Or spot the main character. He looks just like Owain. You got what the f what's up with his face? What the hell? <laughs> Why is his face shrunken? <laughs> Comes out before twenty. Oh yeah, you're right. So yeah, we'll see that before then. This guy has like face shrink syndrome. Wait, so are these both his blades? And then Jin is her blade. I don't know who these guys are. I think that's a blade too, right? She's from the story, so yeah. That's Adam, I think. I don't know who this is. Who are they, who are they talking to? Is it Malice? Why is Mitha so short? It's actually a good question. I, I think she's like... Uh, slouching. See this? There's a lot of horizontal going on here. Young Blaze Mikhail? Oh, that's right. That makes sense. I wonder if that was before or after uh, he became a Blade. I would have guessed before. Well, actually, maybe not, because then he wouldn't be relevant before. Oh wow, they actually have timestamps. <laughs> Could you imagine if this leaked beforehand? <laughs> Wait, what is this? Ganondorf transmog? What? Did I miss this? Oh, weird. <laughs> There's a Ganondorf character in fucking Diablo. I missed that. Pandemic. Weird. Yeah, it's like, if you look at it, they actually covered a lot of shit. It's just, I don't know. Everybody else was more satisfied with it, so. 
whatever. Like, I don't care about cloud saves because I always buy cartridges. I don't care about Pokemon Let's Go because I just am not interested in it. I don't care about Yokai Watch. I haven't bought Splatoon 2 yet. A new Super Mario Bros. Deluxe got leaked, and I wasn't going to buy it anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I saw a funny picture. got some good memes on Twitter. I can show those real quick. It's only three things that mattered. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, yeah, roughly three things. <laughs> Splatoon 2 update and FF ports? Yeah. Those are like high ranking things for me too. And then of course it is a and Smash. The Smash Bundle would be really cool if everybody didn't, didn't already own a, a Switch. This was the worst announcement right here. The stupid NES controllers? Like, it's a cool idea, but who in their right mind is actually going to buy that? Let's see, where was that? Uh, NES controllers. About Shrunken Face, dude? Oh, sorry. Shrunken... Oh, Minuf. Okay. Cole from Fonzam. Oh. Weird. Okay, that makes sense actually. I do rem I do remember Cole. I remember that bit of the story. What a weird thing. Like if they if they functioned as um Joy-Cons, like I can maybe see it, but I don't know if they do. Like Joy-Cons that you could use for other games, you know what I mean? Weird. This, this does look cool though. You got the original 8 on here. this image. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll end it here, I think. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Appreciate it. There wasn't really anything here that was worth highlighting, so I'm probably not going to upload any of this unless it's just the archive. Um, I don't know when we'll stream the rest of Binding Blade. We'll do it eventually. We have Hurricane Florence coming, so... I probably shouldn't stream during that, but I might. Because <laughs> we're not really getting hit by it. We'll see about that. Alright, have a good night, guys. What reveal is this? Um, hi, Wayne. This was, um... Cloud Saves, right here. They were showing off cloud saves for the, the Switch. Look at the texture on Luigi's nose. Alright, I'll catch you guys later.